this thing on? Yeah. Yeah. It's on. Yeah, I think it is. I, I can't tell what it looks like or what we look like. <laughs> but anyway, got back into hometown, got our voting done. Yeah. And then we get the truck warranty work done and then getting everything we need to get done before we get back on the road. Mm -hmm. So, but the two main things are dying. Are, Almost are getting dying. Done. Once we get the truck back, we, the two things that brought us back are we will be check again. and check. But so, we got one more thing that we got to do. <laughs> we're going to get through the storage. Oh, yeah. Uh, go through our storage stuff and uh, we are downsizing on our rig and kind of empty some weight and then make some more adjustments. I think we'd always do that. If we came through, we would adjust on things we don't need. And so, anyway. see we are unhooked here in the parking lot that is because I was doing a cat scale in order to effectively get your payload weight you have to row away the rig to get hooked to the tow vehicle and then the tow vehicle separate so that's what you've done I'm just connected to your heel hook and go over the weights just to see where we're at so yep what you're working on I'm cleaning the vacuum. <laughs> nice. Out. No, but we're, really, what are you working on? We are out with the old sofa that we had there. I'm putting in another one that suited, hopefully suit us better. We found it yesterday? Yeah. How long have we been looking for a sofa? Well, we're still looking. We just found one that would work. I think hopefully work temporarily or just for now. So what was wrong with the other sofa? It just didn't serve us well for the space. It was really heavy. <laughs> it was really heavy. I'm trying to lose Trying to cut weight wherever we can. Lose a few pounds. <laughs> we do need to lose a few pounds. So, that's the idea. Nice. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, let's see. 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 Okay, I like the color. Yeah, color's good. All right. Let's follow the red string. Nice. So we actually did really good with our pots and pans when we first started RVing. We had a couple, and then as we went, we we're like, ooh, this is look good, and this is nice. And then we had Oh, yeah, we went ton. to the thrift store, and we bought more pots and pans because we didn't think we had enough. So, we're getting rid of some again. Well, like, <laughs> like this is very heavy. That's very heavy. These individual pans are nice, but they're extremely heavy. And we, we have one frying pan, and that's been enough. And we do a lot of cooking on the Blackstone. So, yeah, so one pan, you're keeping this one One saute pan. Saute pan, and then... These we use for we use multiple these purposes. All the time. Cake pans, but I use them on the on the blackstone. Blackstone for cooking. I put stuff in them. Yeah, we store stuff. And they're also three of them are still lighter than actually. When I have these tins, instead of buying the disposable ones, I just use these. They're, yes. They weigh next to nothing. And these three are honest. I mean, these five are probably as much as one. Oh, as yeah, this the, one right the here. Big cookie sheet, right? I mean, this cookie sheet. Yeah, yeah. like there's almost similar in weight. Yes. So these are our are, are key. And then let's reconfigure this. It all fits in there nice. And then we don't. We used to use our oven as storage. For yeah, pans. we don't need a store. But those, all this is right going. there will will save a lot of weight. There's one, two, three, four, five. So there's six things that we don't need oh, that we've been hauling how around. How much do you think that weighs? I don't know. This is probably a of 30 pounds. It probably is. That's going to be 25, good. 30 pounds. That's heavy. So that's going. And then we have...
the purpose is that you might use that to also have the other pan that goes inside the Instant Pot that you use. I used my Instant Pot more. I, I don't think I could use this pot one time. So I think that's the answer. We've already been doing it for four months. We don't need it. Somebody might want this. I can ask. I'm sure. I don't want all of this, but that's well, kind of good. Alright, anything else in there? That's it. Just the bowls. That would actually free up some space and weight. Do you really need one or two big bowls? That is for you to decide. This is pretty light. Let's just do that. This, we do not have, this is what every kitchen I think has. I don't know if some people love you that don't, but it seems like every kitchen has this, and we don't get this luxury in an RV. We yeah, haven't had it in here. Oh, there's that piece of the refrigerator. Lost it sticky. Anybody lose a rock? <laughs> I have no idea. All right. So look at that. Now we see the bottom of the drawer. These I don't think we've ever used these. Uh, maybe no. once or twice. Yeah. Nope. Oops. Oops. So excuse me. Look at that. That's going into the trash. Do you use this? I've never used that. Okay. Um, and then we only need one, and this is my favorite one. The, the one with no handle. <laughs> For some, we can't wait to this lighter. I've had this since we were married. Like, I think I got it as a wedding gift, <laughs> but it's the bend on it and the thinness. I know, I like it too. I still look for that one. So we're going to get rid of this one. These are definite we use. All right. Okay, we use Trying this. Trying to downsize here, people. Scissors. Um, Maybe like once in a blue moon. The kids like to use it, but it's a pain. Yeah, it is a pain. To clean, so just get rid of it so they don't, Jack doesn't see it. <laughs> um, these are like really light, but the, uh, I use we this kind of stuff for serving, serving or serving salad. guests. Yes. We don't use these big knives. Do no, you use I don't. I've never used those. I've never used them either. Okay, and I don't use a peeler. Do you? The kids do when they're doing potatoes. I because I finally bought one, but I don't know. Do we need it? No, because I oh. use a peeling knife. All right, there it goes. Okay, and then nobody uses a pizza cutter. I think it's been looked for a few times, but we can survive without it. I, I like scissors. scissors. You like scissors, Jay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and then we have not used a garlic press one time. Uh, goodbye. But we use garlic. We just chop. We're gonna make some people cry right now. <laughs> Watch the stuff go garlic. out. We just use a knife. Yeah, we just do it differently. And not to mention, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but this is a really heavy piece. It's kind of like if you've ever, I mean, if you've ever done any kind of hiking yeah. or backpacking, anybody would appreciate this. They know you get rid of everything. You even cut your toothbrush in half to, to save weight. Yeah, so you and have to have multiple purposes. You have to have more than one purpose, and this really only is used for the garlic press. Can so. You use this one? Nope. So if we're. I don't know. Okay. We so. can think about that one. Okay. That was I'll think about. <laughs> That's a maybe. It's a maybe. Okay, and I do use these. We do this is cute. <laughs> That's a no. Wow. This actually, this is actually super handy. Yeah, that would be great. If you love this, people, sorry, you can <laughs> have it if you want to contact me. I used it like once or twice because I couldn't find the other one. Okay, um, and then we use a ladle. That we, we use a lot. And then shoes. This is really heavy. These are lighter. Which Oh, so you found the other one? We have another catch-all <laughs> oh, drawer. Oh yeah, we do. And catch-all drawers are a no-no in an RV. <laughs> and we've so far had two. We meant well starting out, but then I, as we go by, or as time goes by, we collect things and it's just throws I think we have four catch-all drawers. It's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so that one's lighter than that it's one. lighter than this one, so this one is a nicer quality. Mm -hmm. The quality is going to be skimmed for weight. Yes. So. so, spoons? Well, spoons and forks. We usually, most people that have their own amount that they use for themselves, and so we don't need to provide for us in the whole campground. Yes. So like. So that it's bring your own spoons. silverware. So yes. <laughs> and plates usually. And plates. Because we have we just enough have plates some, for us. Right, and we might have some times where we use plastic, but we don't. We, we're trying to cut weight as much as possible, and we don't need extras. Yes. We think we do, and we're used to that. But mm -hmm. when you're an RV, you need to be very specific. Only need only take what you need, and we have a, we, we have, accumulated. We slowly accumulated. I think we started out doing pretty good, but we've somehow accumulated over time. Yes. Five. I'm gonna keep like a couple extras. Let's do. Do we keep just five, or do we have like a set of two or three more? Just well, like, I mean, sometimes I cook with a fork, which means we'd have to wash it if we're eating. I'll have a set. We'll just keep it at a set of a set of eight. Yes. 
with what we need in the air freezer. Bye bye. And spoons, just five little spoons, and maybe a couple of the bigger ones. Because uh -huh. we don't actually eat with the bigger ones, but I do cook with them. Yes. All. That's where this needs to go. All that's going? Yes. So I've got to go through all these and throw away the empty bottles and decide which ones. I think most of these are empty actually because we use them a lot. All right. Look at this progress. We got, we pulled everything out and going through and seeing what stays and what, what goes, huh? What we didn't huh? wear and what we did wear and we don't. But this is progress to get downsized and to make it fit better in here. Oh my word. We've done this like three times already? I think so. I think we'll continue to do this, which is a helpful thing. You don't think you do it once doesn't mean you're done. The crazy thing is we've been up and down the east coast mm -hmm. so we've needed fall clothes and we've needed summer yeah. clothes so makes it challenging now we're cold so we're transitioning our closets back to uh, yes. fall clothes look at this guy crashing some dishes this good stuff food. bro it's nice and we got cool one going on there and then we've got katie's organizing in here putting stuff she doesn't need any more in storage what do you think I brought like I have so many light things in storage yeah. that I would like, but I brought everything heavy. Yeah, now you can make an adjustment, huh? Alright, so here we are. We're back in storage. Again. Again. We're gonna put stuff back in. We are going to take some stuff back out. We're actually gonna try to downsize our storage stuff. We realized the more you are away from your stuff, the more you realize you don't need it anymore. We're planning on doing this for a long term. So let's go reevaluate. Let's see if we can empty some stuff out, go through some stuff, and go from there, huh? Yes. So we'll see how this goes. that and then we will unhook the trailer from the truck and then just in the same configuration away the truck and then we'll know the difference of what the trailer is versus what just the truck is and then we can deck that to get to find out what exactly our payload and all that fun stuff is. so you can't see it Bikes. Drop the RV and now we're gonna <laughs> so much lighter. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a... So the trailer, we left the trailer over in the trucks. This will give us our Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So little compared to the trucks. Pick up our baby again. We, uh, Need a guide? Yeah, some assistance. Alright, Richter, let's help Daddy. Just get it all hooked up. Right. 
process, I mean, our system set up the way it is would be, <clears throat> let's go ahead and so our total weight is 20,220 pounds. And then if you take what our truck is, here's the rain, mm -hmm. which was 9,880 means our trailer is 10,340. Um, so that's we did we did that's considerably better than last time. We were I have to look at the numbers again off the top of my head. I want to say we were over about we were about 1,200 pounds. I think we were running about 11,000. Mm -hmm. Was it 11,500 or it was 11? It 11, was 11,000. 11, somewhere yeah. it was almost. Yeah. 12, 1300 pounds heavy. Mm -hmm. So according to this, we've definitely dropped a thousand pounds. Sweet. So but we're still over. We're still over. The, the trailer, the gross the trailer is 10,000 pounds. So right now we're still over like, this is a little over 300 pounds. When we get rid of Christmas, we'll, we should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think our Christmas weighs about 20 pounds. <laughs> we might shave off 40 pounds max. <laughs> But if we get rid of all the kids' toys and all oh, their bedding toys. and all their stuff, then we'll be good. <laughs> anyway. So we got it. We got it. Our trailer needs a 340 pound so bike. So what, what we want to get, which I don't know is how it's feasible, frankly, because we're full timers and we've shaved down a lot, not much as we can, but we want to get to the point where we're down around 9,500 pounds so that we have weight for water mm -hmm. to put some in the fresh tank so that we could uh, have a little bit of water with it. Remove the tuck real quick, man, and then I'll open the slide. I'm gonna park right here, watch out.